Hi everyone. Well, I just thought I'd pop out for a couple of hours this afternoon it's on my local river up in Glasgow, the White Cart Water. Just a wee short session. Yeah, the old fun game's on, so I thought it might be quite quiet just to pop out for an hour or two, but it was absolutely chucking it down earlier. But, um, it seems to have calmed down a bit now. And uh, in my my haste to get stuff packed in the car out of the garage, I've went and forgot a couple of things, so... I brought a box of streamers with me, but... I've only got four pound tippet with me, max, so... I'll probably struggle to turn those over. I forgot my tapered leaders, so... Probably no chance of... Doing any dry fly fishing. Uh, so it's looking likely it's going to be wet flies. Wet flies only. Uh, so have a wee look. I'm just at the stretch between between uh, Busby and uh, Busby uh, Clarkston area and Waterfoot. Good wee stretch. So uh, I'll have a wee seat for a bit. There seems to be. I can see flies coming off already, and I'm kicking myself now that I didn't bring my didn't bring my tapered leaders. Uh, there's a wee bit of tinge, tinge of colour in the water. Um, not to the point where it's unfishable though. So I'll maybe... I've actually moved up, upstream a wee bit. I think that pool that I was at there, the wee burn that runs into it, I think it was contributing to some of the, the colour in the water. So uh, I've moved up. This is the furthest upstream I've actually been on the white cart. I've not been all the way up to Waterfoot, but yeah, that's where the boundary of the the boundary of the fishing club is. Or the rights for the water that the fishing club have got. It's the Busby Busby Angling Association. Um it does my ticket for here. So yeah, well um that looks like a nice wee pool there, so we'll um plunk some wet flies in there and and work our way down, back to where I was. There's some nice runs down there as well, with some fast water moving into uh, some slack water, so... Yeah, we'll work our way down and see. Yeah, I'm probably going to use a similar setup uh, like I did in my last video for wet flies, except I'm just going to use two this time. And I'll stick on... I'll stick on a wee size 14 LDO Spider on the point. And on the dropper, I'm probably going to use a wee size 14 uh, water hen blower pattern as well. Um, so uh, there's lots of fly life coming off the water now. Maybe that it's it's quite mild, so maybe the the rain has maybe brought it on a wee bit. Uh, so yeah, I know I'm just here, but I've not I've not seen any fish rise yet. So yeah, we'll get the wet flies on. Pop a wee picture of the flies that I'm using um, up in the up in the corner of the screen there. And then we'll uh, get into the river and start making making some casts and hopefully we can get a trout in the net. It's, uh, it's the end of April and I've still not put a trout in the net from the river yet. <laughs> so yeah, um, fingers crossed we can get one for the for the camera in the in the channel today. So yeah, I'll get myself set up and then we'll we'll get into the river and start making some casts. Yeah, I'm not sure what those uh, flies are that are coming off the water. They seem quite light in colour though. Um, so those two, those two flies that I've got on are quite, I suppose, lightish in colour with some olive thread, sorry, yellow thread. So uh, I'm going to stand up here and make a few casts at the neck of this pool, swing them round and see if we pick anything up. Don't want to get too close to the neck of the pool there in case there's some fish there waiting and waiting in ambush. So
There's a fish. Oh. Oh, it's off. Oh my god. I'm not having any luck with the trout so far. Quite a good fish rising confidently down there. It's going to be a task to cast it, and it's aye, it's not going to be, it's not going to be easy. I'm going to try and put the because I don't have dry flies. I can only cast downstream with the wet flies, but it might. I think that's going to be too much drag on the on the cast, but. I'm going to attempt it anyway. And it's such a difficult cast with these trees coming right into the middle of the river. So, I'll give it a shot anyway. See how we go on. I have to crouch down a wee bit and I need to be careful with my step as well. Hi, there it is there. That's going to be a difficult cast. I wonder if I can get closer without falling in and spooking it. Because it is. There it is. If I can get to that rock without making any noise and if I see that fish coming up again I'm going to kneel down and give it a shot. Why not? No, he's still there. Hopefully you saw that. There he is again. Still there. fish is still there. It's just under the tree across the river here. I think it's quite a decent fish. I don't think I've completely spooked him. wonder if I can get in on my knees again and try without spooking him. That's a good fish. He's right over the other side though. He's right over the other side. I don't know if I can get that far. Let's see. That's it. That's it.
Got it. Oh, I hope I get this. Feels like a decent fish. Hope I get it. All that time spent stocking that fish. Stuck on a dry fly there. Dear hairy merger. Let's hope I can get this in the net. Oh, that was fun. Oh, let's hope I can get this in the net. Feels like a decent fish. Not bad, not massive, but... That was good fun. <laughs> that was good fun stalking that. Nah, it's not massive. I don't really care, that was good fun. There's another one down there. I'm gonna stand up, see if I can get this guy in. It was a massive fish. It's not, but I tell you what, that was really good fun. I've never done that before, sat and stalked a fish. So, uh, aye, that was good. Oh, it's coming straight towards me. No. <sighs> yes. Oh, first fish of the season. And it's not a bad fish at all. Ah. Uh. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Brown. Oh, this is right in the sizzles, right where it should be. Yeah, I'll get it out. I'll get it out. Come on, come the other way. Come on. There we go, that's the hook out. Oh, what a lovely fish. Maybe a fish about... Maybe a fish about a pound, but... Three quarters of a pound, a pound, but... Not the biggest fish, but I tell you what, that was really good fun, watching that fish for a while. Uh, stalking it, and uh, changing tactics there to put, a, to put a dry fly on, so yeah, that was really, really, really fun. And I'm so glad to put the, uh, the first fish of the season in the net. I'm going to get a quick picture here. Ah, that was good. Right, let's see if we can revive them and put them back. Oh yeah, he's, he's lively. He's good to go. Let's see. Yeah, that's a nice fish, maybe about a pound. Yeah, lovely fish. First brown trout of the season for me. Superb on the dry fly. And off he goes. Excellent. Oh, that was such good fun. Uh, as I say, I've never done that before, sat and stuck to fish for a while and, uh, you know, got down and kneeled down in the water and stuff. So, aye, that was, uh, that was good fun. <laughs> I have to admit. Nah, I think I'll just call it a day there. I had fun with that. I had fun with that trout, so hopefully that's uh, some 
<laughs> some fun footage to watch as well as it was for me, so yeah, we'll call it a day there and get up the road. At least we got something in the net. At least that's the Broke the duck's back. Broke my ducks, is that the right saying? Can't remember. Yeah, we deer hairy merger doing the trick. Fish a bit of, I don't know, three quarters of a pound to a pound, and maybe somewhere in between, but I'll tell you what, it was decent though. I fairly enjoyed that, so. Yeah, we'll head up the road and uh, yeah, we'll be back out soon as well. So remember guys, if you do like what you see. Um, please try and like uh, like the video and if you if you want to see more of my content um, out in the rivers and the, the lochs and stuff then uh, please hit the subscribe button as well um, thanks again for watching guys and uh, yeah we'll be back out soon hopefully we can put some more fish in it cheers